Rashawn, uh, it's been a rough go for the defense for a few weeks. How huge, you know, for you guys to get the stop to force OT and then and then get the ball right back to your offense. No, I thought it was real huge. Um, you know, we really played with a lot of confidence. I feel like we played with each other. Um, every guy out there was playing for the guy that was next to him, and you know, you saw the results. Paul. Rashawn, what was your uh, vantage point on the, the pregame festivities where uh, Harbaugh and uh, Malcolm were drawn a little bit? Yeah, I think they were just a little upset that, you know, we, we, we do our ritual. We've been doing it since I've been here where we go in the middle of the field and we break it down. And I guess the coach got a little angry about us doing that. And, you know, we did it last year. He didn't say anything. So, um, you know, either way, I feel like we handled our business regardless of all that situation, the situation that happened before the game, I feel like we, we, we handled our business like we were supposed to. Yeah, Rashawn, noticed you uh, really triggering and, and, and feeling against the run. What was clicking for you? Were you able to just diagnose things better? What, what was it? I mean, just me just doing my job, man. Um, you know, I think that's the main thing for me, just con continue to do my job. The, the, the plays will come to you. You know, you're not going to have every game. is not going to be, you know, you know, 20 some time or 15. You know, it's not going to be the same every game. So the number one thing was for me to play my play my role and, you know, let the players come to me and just help my team win. Luke. Rashawn, uh, Variable brought up the fact that, you know, he used the fact that you all are, are so in the thick of things and the AFC is sort of a motivator going into this game. How much does – does that get you fired up when you know you're not just playing a football game, you're, you're playing a game that has immense meaning perhaps for the rest of the season? Yeah, man, um, you know, it's one of those situations where each game counts at this point. Um, you know, you want to try to position yourself as, as great as possible as you can, you know, playing in these games. And, you know, we got another big game next week against Indianapolis. And, uh, you know, those, one of those, those type of games are the ones that you want to get. And, you know, right now we got a little time to, you know, rest up, get some guys healed up, um, you know, just get back to the drawing board so that we can go out there and, and play, play another great game. After after a win today against a team that's sort of, you know, one of those teams competing with you in, in the, the AFC, where do you feel about where you all are right now in mm -hmm. terms of your position for the rest of the season to make a push? <laughs> Oh, no, man, I feel really good, man. Um, you know, I was, you know, I, I talked to you guys and told you guys, man, this is about, you know, playing your best game at the end of the season. Um, you know, there are going to be some teams that start to decline. There are going to be some teams that are going to start to elevate or some, thing, some teams are going to maintain. And, you know, number one thing we want to do is elevate and continue to get better and better each and every week. And um, I feel like that's what we, we've got a good start this game. And, uh, you know, you just got to keep continue to keep doing what we've been doing and building off of that going into next week. Jim. Rashawn, you, you might have touched on at the beginning, but just, just what was the intensity level like for mm -hmm. this one? And did, did you kind of sense it uh, from the very beginning? Yeah, I did. Um, it was one of those things where, you know, as a whole, man, I feel like, you know, everybody wanted to go out here and, and play a really great game. And, um, you know, it's even though, you know, we, we got out there and did what we did, you know, we still have some guys that got hurt, um, which who, who which were pivotal players in our defense, just off the top, you know, Jayon. Um, and for us now going forward, we just got to make sure that everybody, you know, on our defense plays their best game. So, um, you know, I feel like we're excited for the challenge, man. This is, you know, the exciting part of the season on the back end of stuff because you're getting close to playoffs. So, you know, like I said, man, we just got to continue to keep doing what we're doing each and every week. And, you know, I think everything else will handle itself. Last question for you, Corey Curtis. Rashawn, uh, this is the second time in a row you guys have put the wraps on Lamar Jackson. I think he averaged under three yards a carry today. Uh, how were you able to duplicate that feat um, with him running the foot? Um, just containing, a, you know, a really athletic, electrifying type athlete. Um, you know, even though we were able to, you know, get two wins off of him, um, doesn't take away from his athleticism and what he can do with the ball. Um, you know, the, the, the Ravens are, you know, they're, they're a good team. Um, and we played a good team. So 
for us to go out and do what we did and get a win um, again in their stadium, you know, it gives us a lot of confidence and it just lets us know that, you know, each week is going to be, it's going to get harder and harder from now on. And we got to bring our best game each and every week.